What are wash bay diagnostics and why does it hurt your cycle time in CSI? We're going to find out next. <laughs> Some shops have taken on the challenge of vehicle electronics and spent the time, effort, and money to learn about them and do repairs. However, other shops have subscribed to the philosophy of ignore it and it will go away. Some have the attitude of I'll deal with it later, which has given birth to the term wash bay diagnostics. Wash bay diagnostics happens when researching what will need to be initialized, programmed, or calibrated is skipped during the blueprinting estimating or disassembly process. Now, in the wash bay, just before the vehicle is to be delivered, the customer is sitting in your waiting room and you find yourself in a bad situation. Something is not working or a code is still active in the post-repair scan. Now, you're no longer a production manager or manager, but rather a fireman, and a bad fireman at that. The first thing you need to consider when dealing with vehicle electronics is what type of solution you need. The second is figuring out do you want to do it yourself? Do you want a solution? Do you want a combination of the two? If you decide to do it in-house, the first item on the agenda is to train your people on what they're looking for. Knowing what you're working with helps to get all the procedures on the initial estimate and allows you to plan what will need to be done and avoid the wash bay diagnostic scenario. Here again, the pre-repair scan comes into play. There also needs to be teamwork and solid communication between the technician and the estimator. A sensor may not have been replaced or involved in the collision, but during the repairs, it may need to be disconnected. That could trigger a need for initializing or calibration. The estimator and technician need to be in sync to be sure no procedures are missed or that they're addressed before the wash bay. As far as outside solutions, there are companies that exist that can either guide, assist, or do all the procedures for you. There are companies that will plug into the vehicle's OBD port and identify what ADAS systems the vehicle has through the internet and have a technician come to you. Also, there are companies that will come out and set up the repairs and procedures required and complete those calibrations and services after repairs are finished. Then, there are many facilities using both in-house and outside resources for getting accurate estimates and information. This takes a coordinated effort by everyone to make sure no procedures are skipped. Communication and recognition of a shop's abilities become key to being successful. Without communication, procedures will get missed or skipped and this will lead to repairs not being completed correctly. A definitive plan and goal will improve your shop's performance. However, nothing is 100% guaranteed. How many fewer problems and how much more efficiency do you want in your shop? How much time and attitude to get it right are you willing to invest? Without a plan, your shop's back to wash bay diagnostics. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.